Hello everyone. I'm so glad you've joined me today. I love sharing my ideas with you and I hope I inspire you with today's creation. I don't know about you, but I am always looking for cute kid cards. And I usually do very well with the girls, but the guys not so much. Well, guess what? This suite is perfect for the boys. It's the Whale Done Stamp Set and Punch that's a bundle. And it's got these cute sea creatures and coral and seaweed in there. But then it also has this gorgeous DSP. And this paper is perfect for creating quick and easy cards. I mean, look at that. Chop it up and you've got your um, thing. I did a video with this using this paper, yes, uh, Monday. And then there's the back. All right, then you've got this one with the cute little turtles. And I love this one here that's looking at me. I can't wait to use that one on a card for Jake. And that's the back of that one. It looks like uh, netting. This one has seaweed on it, but look at this. It just, it just reminds me of Finding Nemo. I, every time I see that, that's the th first thing I think of. And then we've got this one that's waves all over. And it's got these cute seahorses among the seagrass. This one has more seaweed. And this one has sea nettles all over it. Are you guys, do you guys know what sea nettles are? Oh my gosh. As a kid, I hated those things. I hated them. Ugh, they are nasty and they sting pretty bad. All right, this one's upside down, but it's again, more waves in blue. And then this page has whales all over it. And the punch actually punches out one of the, wa the, the whales, the big whales. So great great way to extend your um, DSP. All right. Then we've got this that reminds me of underwater bubbles. I also saw this as a night sky, a galaxy, lots of different things you can do for, with it. And then we've got this one that's got patterns all over it. And it's got actually all of the images from the stamp set, including that little crab, which is not in the stamp set. I wish it was. There was this one that's perfect underwater scene. Reminds me of Little Mermaid. I can see her sitting there and combing her hair. And, and then this one, which I'm gonna use on today's card um, that has the crabs and things. And if you cut this in half, you actually can do two different scenes. And the back of that is the seaweed. I forgot to show you the back of the other one. That's got the fish all over it. All right. And then here's another scene. And this one has fish on it also. So these are some great patterns. I just love them. And I've just discovered this suite recently. Here's the card we're going to do today. And isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, I just love that those little turtles. They're so colorful. All right. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is you need to take that paper and you want to cut it down to be, uh, I think this is four, is it four? Nope, it's three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. All right, save the piece that you cut off, oops. To save this piece that you cut off, because you can use it and you'll see in just a minute how to use it. I'm gonna take that piece and I'm gonna take that sea nettle and some pool party ink. And I'm gonna stamp those sea nettles across the back. So I just added some interest. Okay, just stamped them across like that. Nothing big, spectacular or anything. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that to a piece of pretty peacock um, card stock. So let me get my glue out. I forgot to open up my other one because my little one's empty. So I've got to open it up. All right, let's add this to it like so. 
And then the next thing we need to do is, uh, I just thought it was so cute to add a little sentiment on there. So I took a piece of white and it is five eighths of an inch thick and I left it long and I'm gonna use, my love for you is bigger than the ocean. All right, and I'm gonna stamp that. And I'm gonna stamp it close to the, oh, wait a minute, how much am I cutting off? Not much. Um, all right, I'm gonna stamp it close, I'm gonna stamp it in the middle and you'll find out why, because I can then cut it off if I need to. And this is pretty peacock ink. All right. Now I want to use this label punch and I cannot remember for the life of me what it is called. All right, and this is gonna go in like so. And I'm gonna straddle the two um, shelves, make sure it's even, and I'm gonna punch it. And it's not in far enough. Okay, so how much did I cut off? that much so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that to figure out where to cut this and I'm gonna do some surgery and cut this off right about there all right there we go all right let's try this again all right Lots of times that's what I do because I don't really know what how long to make it. So I just, you probably could have punched it and then stamped it. All right. Much better, much better. Now I'm going to take, and I hope I haven't cut it too short. I'm going to cut that end off so it's even. And if it's not, I'll just redo it. I'm going to use a hole punch and I'm going to punch a hole in it that I can thread my braided trim through. And that's what we're going to use. So I need my tear tape so that I can get my back set up. I love using um, this braided linen trim with this um, sweet. It's perfect. All right, I'm going to take my backs off. And here's what I'm going to do I'm going to take my braided linen trim and I'm going to thread it through my piece. All right, and I'm gonna go to the front and I'm gonna, this is the side I have to start on, so I'm gonna wrap it like so. And I'm gonna go down at an angle, all right, and on the back I'm gonna catch it in the other tear tape and I'm coming over down a little bit, all right. I'm going to go under that and I'm going to keep my ribbon or my braided trim straight. All right. And now I'm going to cut the back, put, cut this off, and then I'm going to sandwich it between two more pieces of tear and tape and push down really good. I hate my ribbon coming apart or undone when I, um, send a, um, I can't think today, goodness gracious, when I send a letter, it's like brain dead. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, so that's why I sandwich it between there. Now we're going to add that to our card base, and this is just a white card base. Again, the measurements I use are for US, so just know that you can adjust them for the country that you live in. I know England and Europe and Australia 
have different card measurements. Um, and then this, oops, I gotta add some glue. I only had that tear and tape on the side. That's not good. Um, so I'm going to add this like so. And I'm going to press down. And then this I'm going to slide over slightly because i got to have space for my turtle. Now, you can easily cut the turtle out of... Um, the DSP, but I find it's not very sturdy. So what I do is I'm going to take this turtle and I'm going to add glue all over the back of it. All right. And then I'm going to stick him down and I got to do this. My, there we go. I know my piece is big enough. I'm going to stick him down and then I'm just going to give it a little bit of time to grab hold and then I'm gonna fussy cut this and it's not hard to do because oops it leaked out hold on get that off there and get it off of that before I put my hand in it and stick myself to something I don't want to stick it to does that happen to you oh my gosh all right, now I'm just gonna take and I'm just gonna cut around this turtle. And by adding that piece of cardstock behind it, it just gives it a little bit more stability so that I don't have to worry about it crumpling. All right, and I mean, fairly easy fussy cutting. The hardest part is if it's got some waves to it, which the flipper does. So just work around it. And I'm cutting fairly close to the line. Um, I didn't really want any white showing so I did not leave in a border. Almost done. Okay, get his head. And then this area right here, I've got two spots that are not round, so I'm gonna go back and just kind of nip them. And there we have it. Isn't he cute? Oh my goodness. All right, let's add some dimensionals to him. I'm gonna, oh, my back came off. I'm gonna put one up here on his head, one here on his flipper. I gotta cut this one in half, and one down here on his tail. And then I'm going to take the backs off and add them to my card. Oh my goodness. Jake is going to love this. I bet you Michaela calls me and we just do a little FaceTime. He shows me his card and how excited he is. And I'm just going to have him like that. And there it is. Quick and easy. I love quick and easy cards. Just make sure your glue sticks up there at the top. All right. And remember I told you, save that piece of DSP. You can put it on the inside. And I stamped the sea nettle there. And then I used my markers and colored my fish, or my turtle, my fish, my turtle, so that I would have it on my envelope. So there it is, ladies. Check out my newest online card class. It's all about stencils and having some fun with them. You'll love it. The link is in the information section below. Have a great day.